Welcome to KSP. This is what version is this? 11.96. Oh, I don't have the splash screen up. Anyways, this is 11.96, 1.1 pre release, and oh, it's just right down here. How about that? Uh, we're going to be doing some contracts. I'm not going to be doing this one or this one. All day, I don't have a land on the moon. This one pays really well. Somehow, this one here pays more than, say, that one. It's pretty really strange. Anyway, we're going to do a couple things here. A skipper orbiting Kerbin. No, 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 no. We're going to do some ferries and VIPs. Suborbital space flight. What do they want? Orbit and suborbital. Well, well hmm. this doesn't pay much. I guess it pays you as you do it. Okay, so that gives me 20 reputation. That gives me 19. That doesn't pay very well, though. So, yeah, you know what? We'll do this guy. Okay. Well, let's make ourselves a people mover. That was odd. Hey, new cockpit. Sweet. All right, so we'll do this guy here. We'll go ahead and toss on that. This, which is where I'll put my passengers. And then I will put on Yeah, they don't need a view, do they? <laughs> they do need a view. That doesn't look stupid, does it? Sorry, guy, you're just not going to have much of you today unless I do mirror symmetry. There, mirror symmetry. Now we're in spacecraft mode. So I subbed into airplane mode real quick because it's mirrored. Now that window just doesn't have a view. And I think we'll need one of these. Oh, I got a whole jet part. Actually, you know what? I do need to put this up a bit higher. Okay, that passenger who faces backwards anyway is not going to have a view. The passenger who sits here will have a view out looking forward. Okay, that'll work. I don't believe I've mounted propellant thrusters yet. Yeah, I got that though. That that helps, but uh, that's all I got. And all right, I got a bigger fuel tank. I got. I do have a little engine. All right, cool. Okay, that's our putt putt section. I don't have electrics yet. I have batteries, but that's it. Should I bring some science gear up? Yeah, I can, I can bring up one of these things. Save one of them. Uh, let's go ahead and bring two up. Jeb can grab some science data off of that as we go. And let's make ourselves a booster to get this thing up into space. Oh, I do have some big parts. I don't have any tanks to use it, though. Yeah, I have nothing to use that with. At all. <laughs> like, thanks, guys. I, I guess I maybe you don't need the thing. Okay, so if I'm correct... And I never am not correct. No, I'm usually wrong because I don't have Kerbal Engineer. And Kerbal Engineer redo is AER is incredibly useful and I don't have it. Where is it? I just saw it. Okay, here we go. Alright, and now let's see which one's caught way more. These way less and I don't think I need more than Yep, this will work great. This will work absolutely wonderfully. There, that up there, okay. Okay. Mm, 
Okay, is there anything else I can foresee putting on this thing? No? What people move through. As if this works good, I'll be able to train up some of my other crew in something just like this. And how much does this thing cost? 13 grand. Not terribly bad. It'll more than pay for itself in terms of the mission. Just not sure if that upper stage is going to be enough to get us going, but whatever. <laughs> Like I said, it should be enough to uh, ensure I have control of the rocket as we go. Maybe. We'll see. There we go. They're not like facing the right way, kind of, so to speak. As the sky darkens quite noticeably as we ascend, as the atmosphere thins out above us. And it's just black. We pass this invisible line right about now, I guess. Yeah, now we're, uh, we're above the blue thing that covers the planet. This thing works pretty well, actually. We'll just run this out. Oh yeah, I could have gone even steeper in my ascent. That's looking very good. Oh, hey now. Okay. And actually, I think oh, this was a sorbo orbital mission. What was my thing? Wrong stinking button. Oh, suborbital and orbital. Okay, so that'll be great. This will work good. Alright. We'll get about 30 seconds away from AP here and then we'll bring ourselves up. So I'll get our science reading. Okay, so I want to go like that. Oh, I missed it. I need to be a little bit be a little bit closer. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to burn almost like radial out just a little bit to keep my apoapsis at like 10 seconds away. Doing so is not as efficient as just burning pure prograde, which I could have done back here, but I'm not playing very well today. <laughs> I haven't played well for quite a while, actually, because of issues and things. But I did get paid for some of the contract. All right, see what we got for fuel status here. Not too bad, not too bad. I think we'll make it, and we'll have enough fuel to get back. That's kind of important too. Which I'm not sure I'm gonna make it or not. <laughs> Let's get ourselves a temperature reading while up here in space, so it's not a complete wasted trip. Alright, so I'm at 140,000 meters up. I'll need to pretty much go like 2220 or something for speed. Roughly. Oh, that's it. We made orbit. And we have about 19 units of fuel left. I think it's liters is the unit of measurement in the game. Yeah, that's not a lot. <laughs> okay, Jeb, I'd like you to go EVA. And take that data. And then... Okay, I got that crew reporter ready. All right, so that means I got paid for that contract. Now I have to get them back home. 
a simple matter. I could just burn retrograde here again, dip my periapsis well in atmosphere, and let the magic of reentry do its thing. I think that's what we'll be doing. And then we get paid. Now if I decide to wait some, I can actually do this orbit. I could do this burn a couple orbits later and that'll put KSC on the back side, but I really don't feel like waiting a whole bunch. I'll gain more funds for crew recovery. But as they say, time is money. So let's go to... That sounds like a good low enough periapsis there. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and face prograde now, so when I, I'll face retrograde at periapsis. Okay. And once we get down there, I'm gonna jettison that. I think I'll burn off that stage first. Oh, I'm already in atmosphere. Okay. I just burn out now. My bay kind of dancing a bit there. Hey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be facing retrograde. Like so. Why are you tripping out so much? Oh, I don't tell me this thing's not aerodynamically stable, because that would suck if it wasn't. I am fully out of time warp. Was I? Oh, I get what it's doing. Okay. When I have it set to hold retrograde, it's freaking out, but if I tell it to just maintain a heading, it settles down. So if I have it in hold retrograde and I turn off reentry, it freaks out because it doesn't know what to do with itself. So let's see if it's aerodynamically stable now. Actually, I want to slew it around some. See if that works. All right, so let me get a science reading. Let me get some temperature display upper atmosphere. Yeah, I'll keep that. That's good data. Uh oh. That's a problem. That's a slight problem. I was hoping it would be aerodynamically stable to want to point retrograde on its own, but it's not. That's not cool. <laughs> it's literally, it will not be cool at all for anybody. Yeah, see, he doesn't have much of a view. Well, he's kind of got a view there, but... Provided I don't run out of electricity, that should be okay. So maybe some batteries tucked away somewhere would have been nice to have, but I think I'll be okay. I'm barely using any charge now. I tell it to maintain retro yeah it's burning up electricity crazy just trying to maintain retrograde and it's already pretty much retrograde so yeah I don't know if that's a bug a feature or intended or what anyway I got data on it now it's a pity I got a night landing in somewhere can't tell where that's at <laughs> uh oh it overheat because I had something dipping into the airstream.
I guess that's the capsule itself. Yeah, it is. Come on, don't overheat on me now. Oh, great. Oh, it's fighting me now. It's fighting me. It's fighting. It's fighting me. Well, I guess I gotta deal with that then. Will I run out of electricity before I run out of reentry heating effects? Like I got lucky. And I can turn that off. Alright, so it wants to sit up a little bit or down a little. Yeah, it wants to sit up. I wonder if it's because of these. I wonder if my offset parachutes are affecting the airflow. I need to hit the parachutes like really soon. Play that and play that. I wonder if it would help if I got rid of that one. Uh, deployment wall. I will time accelerate some. Oh, my booster survived somewhere. I heard it go smash and crunch into the ground. How far am I off the floor? Oh gosh, I gotta wait forever. <laughs> hey, success! I'm gonna bring these people home. That's a good thing, yes? Okay, now let's see here. Have enough electricity to survive this landing. Can I stick it? Can I stick the landing? Yes, I can. Right. Recover. Good deal. Good, good, good. Got 29 science total now. Not enough to gain a. F I think I'm in the 45 point tech. I'd have to look at the thing. I've got some funds, but. Um, yeah, pretty low percentage rate, but oh well. Yeah, I'm not gonna can't use these guys. These horrible people, you. Yeah, these are all 40, 90. Oh, that's right, I got the 45 point techs. I'm in the 90 point techs already. Like electrics, which I want this unlocked before I attempt to go to the moon. Because it's handy. Oh, what did I do that for? Wrong button. I hit the wrong thing. What happens if I do? I'm just not used to these. <laughs> but yeah, this would barely pay for the mission I just did. I'd only attempt to do this if it paid a bit more. Yep. Hang on. They're pretty nice. Ooh, landed a Kerbin. Hey, that's free money right there. Science data from space around Kerman. That's that's a nice little cheap thing. Baseball too. I could, I could toss a. Oh man, I did I not have that? I mean, a most excellent thing to have. Period. If I had known that was, if it had been there on the last mission, I got science data from around Kerman. Okay, so let's make new deep widget. Well, since we are going to be here, I don't know. Well, um, well, that's a big beefy engine. Don't save it. I think I want some science data from the surface while I'm at it. Do this. We'll get a science reading from the pad. That looks legit. Yeah, I couldn't 
give that thing enough air if I wanted to. These, these little intakes, I'd have to spam so many of them to make that thing work right. Ah, I suppose it could, but... Okay. S3. You know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna use our scientist today. Why not? That's kind of what he's for, right? Get some bay readings from here. Free science. Let's get some science here. Sure. Run the test. Yeah, it worked great. Thanks. Oh yeah, I got paid all this money. And recovered. Perfect. Hundred percent value. Two tourists are destination orbit. Orbit orbit orbit. Pays well. Okay, now I could do that one here. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll do that one. Do science data. What I'll do is I'll take my people mover I just had. Eh. Yeah, I can't do that one. What we'll do... We will increase its delta V capacity. And then I will toss on some science goodies. I said some science goodies. This I have not gathered from... LKO at all. We'll try to do this like that. And what do you say we hide some batteries in here too? And we'll hide, no, I can't get those. Eh. Eh, eh, eh. I win. <laughs> Winning. I didn't go. It's all wrong. Okay. That is correct. All right, so I want my pilot. And I want my tour tour two tourists. All right. Oh, I didn't see how much that cost. Okay, I'll make I'll make quite a bit of money off of that. Doesn't matter. Roll program. Now we can pitch over a little bit here. Oh. I'm thinking this is going to be more steep than I wanted it to be. So let's force it over. Force this thing to move. Of course, by doing this, I am depleting my battery some. <laughs> they didn't like that at all. <laughs> I think they're just unhappy with this. Hey, you guys paid for this flight. Why are you freaking out back there for? It's all gonna yell at me. Scrubs. They should still get us well out of atmosphere. Yeah, that's something good. Oh, not quite, huh? That additional bit of weight on this thing made it uh, not quite get out of atmosphere. Let's go to 80. Hmm. 
There's orbit and orbit. Yeah, so I gotta get it. I gotta get this thing out of orbit into orbit somehow. All right, so. So the science data from around Kerbin. No problem, I can do that, it's easy. What won't be easy is getting this. Thing into a nice orbit. Oh, I got plenty of fuel though. Yeah, he's telling me, hey, yeah, these, sh these things are in danger, it's risky. I guess it's dependent on a couple things. How thick the air is and all that other fun stuff. Yes, I like that. Okay, so my time thirty seconds. Thirty seconds? Oh, my mouse moved. Yep, do it. Do it. Even that's not enough. God, the LV nine oh nine is a little bit underpowered. Oh, I need to pick up quite a bit of velocity. Over double. And I get credit for making Overall part of the trip, okay. Once we're in orbit, I'll have Jeb grab this data because I'm not. I can't obviously take this back because I decouple from here. But uh, yeah. yeah, I thought I hid you guys. I'm still there. Oh whatever. I always like the Science Junior Bay. Look kind of neat. Lots of glowy lights and things and whatever's. I need to double the speed. But I have more than twice the fuel I've expended. I'm good. I'm fine. <laughs> I think. I just need to not get below apoapsis because I don't have a lot of leeway between here and atmosphere. Only 13 kilometers worth. So I'm just going to keep shoving it to the right. If I had more thrust to weight ratio, I could do this quite easily. Right now, I think I'm mustering less than 1G based on the meter. It's not quite on the one tick here, it's a little bit below it. So I make a little less than one... Less than one thrust to weight ratio. As I burn fuel, that will eventually hit 1G. It's just moved just there ever so slightly so far. See, I got, I got fuel. I'm good. I'm good for it. I think I'll actually have a much better orbit. Since I'm closer now, I can just do the do orbit burn on the other side of the planet, and then blurp. We'll see how well this thing splashes down. Okay, I have to angle down less and less now to keep periapoapsis away. Means the orbit's a little more efficient. Or, I'm getting closer to making it here. I uh, just hold that. Uh, I didn't check before. Was it's gonna? I need less gimbal than it thinks I need. Oh, close blue. That's cool. Okay, I've passed apoapsis. Okay, there we go. And bingo. That does it. I get paid a bunch of money for that. Now I gotta get them home. So Jeb, guess what? I need to go do something for me. If it'll let me do it. I think shift or caps lock. Uh, did I reset it? I did, didn't I? Odd that a non scientist can do can, can grab that, but okay, so Yes. Okay, get out again, Jeb, and don't do that like you just did. I thought I could do caps lock and turn on fine control on the RCS thrusters here, but select the data, yes. Okay, here we go. Now we're done. I grab an EVA port while I'm here. Got that one already. I need to do a polar orbit. Really, I do. 
Oh, hey, wrong one. <laughs> I went the other way. I suck at using the jetpack, mind you. Once I'm on a world, I'm trying to use the jetpack, I'm okay with it. It's in, when I'm in free fall that I'm not good at it. But well, now I got my caps lock key lit, and I have the controls like this. I pressed it while I was in EVA mode. So just because it's going to bug my OCD-ness, click. And now it's all nice and good. <laughs> I don't like my OCD tripping out. Right around the crater. There's some trick somebody had posted up ages ago, and I can't remember how long ago it was I heard it, but I remember hearing it. And I still kind of use it now. More or less works. Uh, we'll, we'll try off of this. Let's see what that does. All right, so wasted fuel. It's nice knowing you. We don't need you anymore. Now, now I have the parachutes in line and balanced and centered. We'll see how this does on stability when it plows an atmosphere. I'm curious if it'll do better this time. So let's get it nice and straight now. And we'll see how it does. I'm thinking it does not. Oh yeah, that, that works well. You see there it goes again, tripping out. Uh, is my electricity concerns. Well, I got extra battery power, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Is that, yeah, I don't like the fact... Oh, that's a little something now. Getting into thicker part of the atmosphere, maybe. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe, no, maybe I won't. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking this is, it's going to face down it a bit. We'll see how the yaw pitch roll indicators are looking here. I have a slight propensity to... That doesn't do me anything. Do me any good. If I had some fins up here, maybe they'd help. Which I normally would not want to do because they might affect how I ascend. Oh, they're like in this part. Scrubs. Oh, that's fighting me now. It's fighting me now. Okay, we're gonna land somewhere short. That wasn't enough. Screw it, we're going to tell it to maintain retrograde despite it not liking it very much. How's that look from the inside? Pretty cool. Oh yeah, it does. Imagine if you had this as a view. That's pretty boss. I like that. Okay, so that puts a short. So maybe I need to put my impactor line over here somewhere and then let air bring me back. I don't know. Once 1.1 is all sorted out and integrated and released and everything and the mods have been fixed, I'll think about tossing some cool mods on here. I think one of them is going to be 
Boyd. Where goes the booster? Oh, yeah, it just flew apart. That's about ready to blow. Oh, hey now. Whoa. What are you doing? Do you want to be retrograde? I guess it said, oh yeah, we'll turn that on, but, um... <laughs> since I focused away from it, it defaulted to simple stability hold. Stability assist, and not maintaining retrograde. So, if you turn your back on it for a second, it will flip out and kill you. Good to know! How's my heating stuff looking? Yeah, de decent. That one's getting a little bit. Oh, that one's getting a bit more now. That's okay, we're mostly over it now. But yeah, if I, I maybe I should have these parachutes moved up some on the capsule. Keep them from getting hit by the airflow. Although these ones seem fine. I don't know why these ones up here, further away from the aero shell, get affected by that. Yeah, it wants to sit down a bit. Oh, oh. Down and to the left. We're going to wait a bit before hitting the chutes. I'm going to go to uh, 1,200 meters. I don't have all day to be here. No, not even that much. I'll go 800 meters. That wasn't 800 meters, but oh well. Oh. Yeah, I could have waited even longer than that. <laughs> Whatever. Let's hurry up and get the show done. And I think that's all we'll have time for today. We spin, spin, spinning. I need the parachutes kind of flare out a bit as I do so. Spin, spin, spin. Bloosh. Alright. How far away from MKSC? A lot closer than we were last time, that's for sure. Recover. How'd we do? How'd we do? Oh, materials lab. We got 69 science. 21 more to go, and I can unlock a 90 point tech. I got some funds, 87% value. Yeah, sure, they upgraded. Maybe they'll join my program after seeing how awesome space is and I'll get paid. Ah, rescue. Oh, that's a way to get a free Kerbin. Free, yes, Kerbin lot. Fly by the moon. Space okay, I guess. I'm not sure I can. Eh, I might be able to do it for 19,000. Make it too expensive, and you'd be like, "Yeah, this isn't enough for me to uh, enough to justify the mission because I won't get paid a lot." Although I got a fair amount of money, so I'm level one. So right now I'm limited to thirty parts. I think that's not going to happen. Surface samples would be great. Resource transfers would be great, because right now you can't even do that. Anyway, that's all the time we got for it now. When we come back, we'll take a good hard look at what we should do next. Thinking I might have to do a, a mission at cost. Level up my engineer and my scientist and people mover, so they can become a little more useful on future missions. That'll be just one of the things I do for free for like 20,000 roots or whatever. So, thanks for watching, and you all have a good flight.